In today's chess video, I'm going to show you some amazing chess opening tricks and traps in the Fire Witch Gambit. Let's start with the opening. d4, knight f6, c4 and then we play pawn to e5. After this, white takes up pawn and then we play knight to e4. This is the Fire Witch variation. As you know, if we play knight to g4, then this turns into the Budapest defense. I have made a complete video on the Budapest Gambit. You can check that out by clicking on the link in the comment section. Anyway, now let's look at the Firovich variation. From here, you will see three popular responses from white. Pawn to f3, pawn to a3 and knight to f3. I will show you all the traps in each of these three lines. So the first one could be pawn to f3, attacking your knight. This is one of the worst moves that white can play. Let's see how you can completely destroy your opponent from here. We start with bishop b4 check. He can block with any of these pieces, but it does not matter. After this, we will play queen h4 check. The only legal move he has is to block with this pawn. Then we simply take this pawn with our knight. Now if pawn takes, then queen g3 is a checkmate. And if you play something like bishop b4 and takes your bishop, then knight to e4 is a beautiful checkmate. Okay, now before moving on to the next response, do show your support for this video by hitting the thumbs up button below. It tells me how much you have enjoyed this topic and motivates me to make more such videos. Now let's go back and look at the best move that white can play in this position and that is pawn to a3. This prevents our bishop from checking the king. From here, we will play pawn to b6. It seems like a horrible move at first sight because we are allowing this queen to fork our rook and knight. But this is how we will set up our trap. So queen d5. And now what do we do? Well, we play another dubious looking move, bishop to b7. I'm sure your opponent will be surprised looking at this unusual move. If he finds this fishy and takes his queen back to play safe, then we already have a huge lead in development. But if he tries to be greedy and takes your bishop, then he's gone. Let me show you how. After queen takes bishop, we will play knight to c6. By now, white realizes that his queen is in trouble. The only safe square for the queen is a6. Then we play knight to c5, attacking the queen. Now again, he has only one safe square to go and that is b5. And now after a6, believe it or not, his queen is trapped. Ultimately, after these captures, you have a queen for a knight and bishop, which is like a huge advantage most of your opponents might just resign from here. Now, we have one more interesting variation to look at. But first, I would like to remind that if you want to learn some cool chess tricks and become a better chess player, then you should subscribe to our channel right now. And don't forget to hit the bell to turn on all notifications. Now let's look at another popular response from white. In this position, what if white plays a normal development move like knight to f3? Well, in that case, we will go with the same idea but with a little twist. Let's see what that is. First, we will play b6 as usual, enticing white to go for queen d5. Then bishop b7, queen takes, then knight c6, then as expected, this queen looks to escape from here. And now comes the twist. You need to be very careful here. You cannot straight away go for knight c5 because then this queen will escape from here. Therefore, you first need to play this in-between move bishop to b4 check. Now whichever way he blocks, you will simply play knight to c5 and attack the queen. By bringing out the bishop first, you keep control of this a3 square and prevent the queen from escaping this way. That's why this move is very important before playing knight to c5. As you can see, now white has no option. He will have to move his queen, otherwise we can simply take it. He only has this square to go, so he plays queen to b5 and now we will exchange bishops so that we don't lose this bishop for free. And then again, we can play a6 and as you can see, this beautiful lady is gone. You should easily win this game from here. Okay, so it's puzzle time. In this position, it's your turn and you need to find the best move continuation for white. If you are able to find the solution to this puzzle, then share it in the comments below. I am reading all your comments and will give them a heart if your explanation is correct. All the best guys, let's see how many of you can solve this. Well, don't forget to like this video and if you haven't yet subscribed, then subscribe now. For some extra chess content, you can follow me on Instagram at chess talk official. Thanks for watching and I shall see you in my next video.